death wish. I need an extra layer. I look weird. There we go. Hold on. Yeah, it actually kind of worked. It looked like douchey me became Eddie Brock or something. All right, it's gonna get really hot under these lights, so let's power through this review. So Death Wish is a remake of a movie starring Charles Bronson in Death Wish. Bruce Willis is a surgeon. Three guys enter his house with the intent to rob it. His wife gets shot and killed. His daughter's in a coma. And Bruce Willis goes for some vigilante justice. Also, this is directed by Eli Roth. So Eli Roth brings his Eli Roth-isms to Death Wish. But it's not like a hurdle for Death Wish to overcome. The biggest hurdle in Death Wish is the fact that I've just seen this premise a z Billion times before. Guy's family gets shot, killed, or assaulted. Guy goes on vigilante justice spree. How often have you seen that premise? I have said, I don't know if it's a metric shit, Tillian. A few though. Doesn't help that Death Wish is a remake of the movie Death Wish, which is the vigilante movie most vigilante movies with that premise that came after Death Wish harken back to. So it has come full circle. There is the argument to be had. Maybe I'm making a straw man's argument. It's one of those things I see and I'm like, I'm gonna hear this argument. That is the wrong time for this movie. Maybe we shouldn't have a movie that really kind of promotes gun violence. I imagine. Imagine the conversation of whether or not they should have postponed this movie given recent gun violence events. Probably crossed someone's table, they opted not to. Whether or not they should have delayed this movie, I leave that debate to the philosophers of the Twitterverse. I'm just here to talk about whether or not the movie's good or worth your time or money. As the movie goes, it's just kind of mediocre. When Bruce Willis starts gunning people down, it is hyper violent and also entertaining because that's kind of Eli Roth's thing. Spray a lot of blood, puncture a lot of arteries, splatter the walls with gray matter. And you do have that reaction when it happens like, oh shit. What do we do with the rest of the time? Oh, I gotta fill it with Bruce Willis' story. And it's pretty weak. I just didn't give a shit when this movie was begging me to give a shit. Eli Roth does gore torture porn. That's his thing. His forte, so to speak, is not the emotional weight of loss. So when this movie tries to portray that, it just comes across as awkward. Bruce Willis is broken up because his wife is dead. Bruce Willis then goes to visit his daughter, whose friend is there reading a book to her. The way Bruce Willis is interacting with this girl, he seems pretty spry. He's kind of giggling, laughing, making a couple of jokes. I just didn't get the feeling this guy saw suffered an extreme loss very recently. And then the very next scene, he's at the therapist. He's talking about how he can't sleep and he looks broken up again. It's like that scene was awkwardly filmed to be plugged in somewhere and they plugged it in the wrong spot. You can make the leap, well, maybe he's just hiding it deep down. But you can also make the leap that maybe it's bad filmmaking. I'm gonna go with that leap because that's less of a leap than the first leap. Because the movie doesn't really address the concept that he's repressing emotions or putting on a happy face. And the awkward conversation where this guy's like, poachers on my land, let's get him. <laughs> He starts shooting at these guys who were poachers on his lands where Bruce Willis is like, you know what? Maybe I do need to take things into my own hands. Again, it's a moment where Bruce Willis's character gets this profound notion that's gonna change the course of his life. But as the audience, you're watching it like they could have just been done better. Because in the end, this movie had moments of enjoyment in it. But in a world where we have the premise of the character becomes a vigilante because his family was assaulted or killed, done at nauseum, the movie doesn't really stand out. It's not better than Death Sentence with Kevin Bacon. It's not better than the Thomas Jane Punisher. So as much as I wanna say you can knock a couple back and enjoy the movie, you can knock a couple back and enjoy other movies. And I'm not gonna remember Death Wish in T-minus one day. Yep, already forgot. All right, so Death Wish, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or have you seen the original Death Wish? Have you seen that? What'd you think of that? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.